The next uh, name that has made its way to the Pittsburgh Steelers headlines is a former Baltimore Ravens wide receiver, New Orleans wide receiver, I believe, as well. And I guess spent two years with the San Francisco 49ers. Funny enough, Willie Sneed tweeted out yesterday, hey, you know, I want to be back in the AFC North. I miss the AFC North football. The Pittsburgh Steelers, in the meantime, love adding guys who are just not key contributors to the offense. But Willie Sneed has said in the past, especially in recent weeks, has come out and said, like, I need to be somewhere where competition is real because when I was in San Francisco, there was no competition. This wasn't a you could earn your place. It was a these are the guys that are going to play. You're going to sit on the bench. That's just how it works. He said that he's looking for competition. The Pittsburgh Steelers, I mean, they have plenty of it this season. You look at a guy, 31 will be 32 just about by the start of the season. Never had a 1,000-yard year. His his best season came in his first season with the New Orleans Saints. He's uh, It's been a couple of years since he's hit 100 yards on a season. I mean, your thoughts on uh, Willie Sneed saying, hey, I went back in the AFC North, and should the Pittsburgh Steelers consider him? Yeah, I wonder if his desire to get back in the – in the AFC North is linked to, you know, the fact that uh, um, some of the more productive years in his career, some of the most consistent years of his career came in Baltimore. Um, yeah. Obviously he had a couple good years uh, in his rookie year and his second season in new Orleans. But after he tailed off there, he kind of revived his career in Baltimore. I think it's interesting. Um, I, but like you said, this is just, this is another fourth or fifth option at best, a third option um, on a team that already has a million of those. Like he, he would not really move the needle in my eyes. Maybe you take a flyer on him and he becomes, I don't know, something great out of nowhere, but you're, you're counting on the same things from other guys. Um, So I don't know. It it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense other than the fact that, you know, he's cheap and it wouldn't cost you a whole lot to sign him and then maybe cut him if he doesn't work out. But again, I can say that about, like just about everyone else that is on this roster already. And I don't see any reason that Willie, uh, Willie Sneed would stand out versus a Scotty Miller or a Van Jefferson or a Quez Watkins. Like there are a lot of similar career arcs and there are a lot of similar skill sets on this team already that, and Sneed just really doesn't bring anything different to this team at, uh, at this point. No. So I, I got into a Willie Sneed uh, YouTube highlight video. Okay just wormhole last night just to see, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah. whatever. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. I got nothing to do. Let's do it. And uh, I just wanted to see one thing. Does he play in the slot? Because it seems to be the only thing the Pittsburgh Steelers are looking for. He does. I mean, he does a little bit, but he's an outside guy, which massive. They don't have any of those. They have one of them. It's his name's uh, George Pickens. Besides that, it's a bunch of guys who could play inside and Roman Wilson, who could probably play both, but it's probably best on the inside. So I guess he brings that. If you're looking for an outside guy, Willie Sneeds that. My thing is how much are you like what a year off of football is a lot. You take a year off of football, you look at it and you go, mm, that guy probably not going to be the same. Two years off of football, you're like, mm, that guy definitely isn't going to be the same. Three years off of football, you're like, there's no chance this guy's ever going to play again. It's never going to happen. You know, what is the difference between that and I don't know, 52 yards over the last three seasons? Is there is there anything like he had 52 yards in three seasons? He hasn't done anything else. It's just tough to say that Willie Sneed goes anywhere and is a contributor at this point, because. Like you said, like, I mean, what he hasn't just hasn't done anything, and the Steelers have a bunch of guys who recently haven't done anything. So you're just going to toss them into the mix and be like, all right, cool. We'll see what I, I just think at some point you're crowding the market too much to the point where you're if there even is a diamond in there, you're never going to find it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, and I mean, like, at the very least, Willie Sneed is, you know, we're not picking him up, picking him up off the couch like Miles Jack. He's at least been on yeah, true. a practice squad um, for the past true. couple past few years. He's played in NFL games. But man, like that, that experience really isn't all that valuable. Like, again, when you have four or five other guys who have done the exact same thing. Um, yeah. So like, I, I don't know. Like, I get it. Your options are dwindling. It's not it doesn't seem like the Steelers have really any great options as far as the free agent market goes. Maybe there's something on the trade market, but that doesn't seem very likely either. It's just, this is just getting a guy to get a guy, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's not, it's not anything that's actually going to raise your ceiling or make your team better. It's just filling out roster spots. And I, 
I, I would think if you are going to pick up a guy, if you're going to pick, even if you're going for, you know, someone who, you know, maybe hasn't had the most production in his career, it's got to be someone with a higher potential than, you know, a, what, a ninth year player who, you know, hasn't had more than, than 38 yards in a season in three years. Um, yep. and even at his peak, you know, his peak was his first two years in the league. We are a long yeah. ways from that. I need something a little bit more to grab onto if I'm going to take a, even a flyer on a receiver at this point. Yeah, that's a, I, exactly. Like if you're going to take, that's my thing is the Steelers, they they added flyers to a list of flyers that I already liked. Like Denzel Mims, I didn't expect him to make the roster, but I'd rather see what you got in him than a Scotty Miller or yeah. a Willie Sneed or a Van Jefferson. You know, uh, Des Fitzpatrick, I thought showed a lot of talent last offseason. And cool, if he could develop, I like him more than I like Van Jefferson or Scotty Miller or Willie Sneed. Like, you know, you want to test those guys. Who, who's the Callaway from the Saints who yeah. two, three years ago was a stud? Like, I like him as a flyer more than I like Scotty Miller or Van Jefferson or Willie Sneed. Like, I just think that you're at some point you're crowding the market too much. And the Steelers, I think, have already done that to the point where. You just can't add a guy. I mean, Willie, we're just tossing, we're spitballing against the wall here with Willie Sneed. But if he's going to make a pitch, we got to talk about it. I think that's where we are. Right. And I think the frustrating thing is like, I don't know, the Steelers seem to be the only ones in the world who think they don't need another wide receiver. Like yes. they seem to be pretty content. They seem to be pretty content with what they've got. And I don't know, maybe that works out. Maybe you can build the whole plane out of slot receivers, but man, it makes me really uncomfortable because it's not just slot receivers too. It's, Slot receivers who, again, are not even close to second options, in my opinion. Yeah, and who are I feel all 5'9". Like, yes, yeah, and it's – I love Roman Wilson, man. I love it, but we are putting a lot of expectations on a rookie receiver that went in the third round, man. Like, I – you know, and it's, it's for a team with aspirations as high as the Steelers, for a team that, you know, is going to probably be breaking in a rookie tackle, is going to be breaking in a rookie center, like – you are putting this season in the hands of a lot of question marks, a lot of young guys, guys who haven't proven it at the NFL level. And that's not to say they can't get there, but you just got to, you got to get comfortable with the risk that they are taking uh, going into this year with the personnel that they are putting together. Yes. Every year we talk about, I mean, the last two years, it was the offensive line, you know, we're mm-hmm. talking or the quarterback position, you know, we're putting, we're trying to talk ourselves in. Everybody's trying to talk themselves into this is going to work out. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is just good. This is fine. Good enough. Yeah. Yeah. This year it's, it's the wide receivers and everybody's trying to, it's good enough. It's not, it's, it's I mean, clear as yeah. day that it's not, you know, and once you get four or five weeks into the season and you're struggling and everybody's looking for, well, you know, this is the issue. Why would you not fix this? Well, they, they didn't, they chose not to fix it. And I still expect them to, but for right now it's, it's bad. Right. And like two years ago, it was the inside linebackers and you get to yes. the, the middle portion of the season and you're like, damn, they're really getting run over. They're not able to stop yep. the run. They don't have linebackers who can cover. And it's like, yeah, man, if we only we had seen this problem, you know, three months ago, if only yep. we had seen it in August or even July or June or, or May, like these have been problems forever that the Steelers just kind of ignored and said, well, we can piece them together. We've got enough to support them in other ways. Uh, on the defense or on the unit uh, and it just ends up not working out. And you're like, we could have seen this problem coming from a long ways away. Yep. And that's where they are. That's where they are. Wide receiver. And again, I expect them to fix it, but it right now they haven't. And you have to just judge off of what they've done so far. And I mean, you got to judge harshly because it's, it's tough time. It's tough time. 